Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to unbox and have a closer look at the Marvel Comics Library Spider-Man Volume 1 1962-1964 Collector's Edition. I already owned the standard edition and was interested to see what the differences were. However, I couldn't find a video on the Collector's Edition, that's why I decided to make this video. This is number 194 out of 1000 copies, so it's a rare collectible to own. At the time of recording, the Collector's Edition goes for 850 euros at Touch and Soul website, which is a pretty expensive collectible to get, in my opinion. The first thing you will notice is the amazing artwork on the shipping box. It's a collectible on its own. Let's open up the box and have a closer look at the content. Inside, we can find the book covered with a robust packaging. As you can see, the slipcase is covered with a protective wrapping paper. So let's fast forward this part when I remove the wrapping paper and I cover the slipcase. The material feels really great. I thought the slipcase was going to be in steel, but it's actually cardboard. So let's turn it around, get rid of the wrapping paper and have a closer look at the different angles. In the front you can see this amazing artwork and you might also remember it's the same artwork that was on the shipping box. Let's have another look at the slipcase. There is no design inside the cover, however, there is a soft fabric inside that protects your book. Looking around the case, you can see it's the same artwork as the shipping box. Even though it's not a steel case, the cardboard feels really premium and comfortable to hold. Now let's shift our focus onto the book. The whole book is held together by a leatherette bound spine. You can really feel the high quality of the leather and the craftsmanship. Inside the first page of the book you will find a piece of paper confirming that this book has passed the quality certification. So feel free to pause the video and read the certification text. Let's zoom in and have a closer look at the details. On this page we see that this is number 194 out of 1000, the same that was on the outside of the packaging. Moving forward you will see great pieces of artwork, I'll let you enjoy it. This is where the comic book content begins. The quality of the pages feels like you're holding an old comic book. As the product description reads on Touchin's website, the book contains the first 21 Spider-Man stories from 1962 to 1964.
It's really amazing to see how they used to make comic books. Spider-Man was the first comic book I read as a child and will always remain my favorite character. On this page we can see the signature of Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. A fun fact, Steve Ditko co-created Spider-Man and Doctor Strange with Stan Lee. We have reached the end of the book. I hope this video has been helpful and that you have gained a good insight into the content of the book. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I also understand the version of the book. I'll leave you with a quick side by side between the standard and the collector's edition. Thank you for watching.